Hi everyone, Dr. Tom Walters here from Rehab Science. I want to talk a little bit about carpal tunnel syndrome today. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition that many of us have heard of. It affects our median, our median nerve, which is a big nerve that runs from our neck down through our armpit, down our arm, and it gives sensation to our thumb index finger, middle finger, and part of our ring finger and that side of the palm. So when people have carpal tunnel syndrome, they'll often have numbness and tingling in this part of their hand. Now, carpal tunnel syndrome can be really severe in some cases, and sometimes people need uh, surgical intervention to improve the health of the nerve. In other cases, they just have pain and numbness and tingling, and physical therapy, rehab exercises can be helpful. So I wanna show you one exercise that has been shown to help the, car, the, the median nerve move better and improve blood flow to it and the health of the nerve overall and helps a lot of people with carpal tunnel syndrome. So this exercise is called a nerve mobilization and again it's going to specifically target the median nerve. We know it does this because we've taken cadavers and put uh, researchers put pins in the median nerve and move the arm and neck in different positions and they found the best way to target that median nerve. So what you're going to do, the side that is affected, if it's on both sides, you can do both arms. You're going to take your arm and straighten it out at about shoulder level, and you're going to extend your wrist so your palm is pointing away from you. This puts tension on your median nerve down at your wrist. It runs right through here through the carpal tunnel down to the hand. So doing this will put some tension on the nerve. If you were to leave there for a long period of time, it would probably be uncomfortable. So, what I'm going to do is something called nerve flossing. I'm basically, like I'm flossing my teeth, I'm going to floss that nerve and get it to move down at my wrist and then down at my, up at my neck. So I'm going to take my wrist and put it into extension. That's going to put my nerve on tension there. So I want to put it on slack up at my neck because it starts there. So I'm going to move my neck towards my wrist, which puts the nerve on slack here. And then I'm going to alternate. So when my head moves away and the, neck, the nerve is on tension here, I'm going to bring my wrist up so it's on slack there. So that pulls the nerve this way and then I'm going to go back the other direction and that pulls the nerve that way. So this is called median nerve flossing or uh, sometimes we call it a slider technique. I'm just going to go back and forth like that and work on improving that nerve's ability to slide and improving the blood flow to it. So that's called a nerve slider and that's what we'd start people with if their symptoms are really severe. If you have less severe symptoms, there's one called a tensioner which feels a little bit more like a stretch. So I'm going to go into that same position. I'm going to put the nerve on tension at my wrist, but then I'm going to move my head away. So I'm really putting tension on that nerve up towards the neck and all the way through its full length down to my hand. I'm going to hold there for maybe five seconds and then take it out of that position and kind of shake it out a little bit. And then I might do three or four like that. So I'm going to go back until I feel a little stretch. And then again, kind of shake it out. So you've got a slider and a tensioner, two techniques you can use to help improve the health of the median nerve. And if you've got carpal tunnel uh, syndrome symptoms, that can be a helpful technique. It also has been shown just to help with general neck pain. So if you have either of those symptoms, give these techniques a try and I hope they help you.